Hey everyone, so this game wasn't gone for long, was it? Welcome back to Elden Ring. This is going to be my second playthrough. Uh, in fact, it's going to be my try to make an OP build as quickly as possible playthrough. I'm going to be playing a sorcerer. Yeah, this is going to be an intelligence slash sorcery run. This is not going to be the ultimate sorcerer guide. Uh, you will have probably already seen my review of this game. If not, check it out, I'll put like a link to it, but stick around for this video as well. You'll know that uh, I love this game, but honestly, maybe my opinions will change during this playthrough, but I don't think I'm in love with this game enough to do a full ultimate sorcerer guide. I looked at all the spells and it's just a ridiculous amount of effort to get every single spell in this game. Very difficult, very difficult to do, and you have to like kill a lot of optional bosses, do a lot of convoluted shit, uh, and I just want to play and enjoy Elden Ring instead, mainly to see whether my opinions on it will change. So this is just going to be a Sorcerer playthrough. I will be primarily focusing on spells. I'm gonna try to use my spells as much as possible and my weapon as little as possible. So what I did is I had Final Fantasy XII on my mind, probably because I'm playing playing Final Fantasy Tactics uh, on the Vita. Uh, so this is Ash from Final Fantasy XII, obviously playing as an astrologer. Oh, I legit thought I fucked up. Uh, this wasn't easy. Uh, like making someone who even semi resembles Ash from Final Fantasy XII because the character creator of this game is still kind of bunk. <laughs> like, it's just like you have all these like sliders, you have like 20 sliders under one menu, like the, the nose option, and none of them do what you want it to do. It's a little bit insane actually trying to get something because it's like nose protrusion. And then you set it down and your character just ends up with like a massive like downward facing nose. It's really weird. Alright, I'm gonna watch this intro cutscene. Uh, just to see, you know, because to be fair, it's been a long while. So this is what I want to see. I want to see how many of these mentioned characters we actually met. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Met him, of course. Nope. Yes, I'll I'll try to do her quest. Done that. I want to kill him this playthrough. This is a dick. Yeah, 
We're gonna have a sorcery showdown with him for sure. He's probably gonna win. Say gloves. Of no oh, I thought we had a little magic hat on. To stand before the Elden Ring. You know, now that I'm looking at this intro again, somebody said, I don't know if this was a tweet or I saw it in like another video or whatever, but it's such an apt comparison. Somebody said that this game is like a greatest hits compilation album for FromSoft. Like even down to the intro, how it's presented and the fact that you cross the fog to the lands between. Yeah, they really... It's weird because, you know, Dark Souls 3 was supposed to be sort of the love letter to the series and sort of the send-off. Uh, but this game feels much more like it. So many of the sort of notes are borrowed. Even that there is like sort of a cosmic horror aspect to this game, you know, with the... Uh, like the greater will and all these sort of like other gods or whatever. Yeah, it really just feels like they took everything and combined it into one game. Which is, again, like I said, only strange because Dark Souls 3 was supposed to be that. So anyways, this is Ash, our little astrologer. Sick garment. I like the little... Yeah, it's like a very Final Fantasy ix esque hat we have. What is this shield? Uh, scripture wooden shield. Oops, don't de-equip it. Short Sword, which is actually a pretty good weapon, and of course, Glintstone Pebble and Glintstone Arc, both of which are spells I've already had. One thing I want to make clear, though, uh, this playthrough is going to collect a pretty sizable chunk of the spells in this game. I'm not saying that I'm not. I'm just gonna like breeze through and not, you know, get all the spells. What I'm saying is I'm just not gonna get every spell. So I can't, in good conscience, call this the ultimate guide. But I will be collecting an overwhelming majority of spells in the game. So don't worry about that. You will see a lot of variety because I do actually find a lot of the magic interesting in this game. And... I was just about to say, before I got absolutely demolished, I was just about to say, I do wonder if I can do this with my sorceries. This has to be like probably the most impossible like intro boss. You really gotta be on your game and be very good at the game. And this is so Elden Ring. Not allowed to make a single mistake. So yeah, like I said, uh, just to reiterate, I do actually find the spells in this game very interesting. I do like that there is a wide variety of them. It's I think it's better that they only focus on two magic classes and then have sort of like what this game does is it has like spell sort of subcategories. Uh, Don't worry, Torrent. You have like golden order spells, like uh, gravity spells, whatever. I much prefer that than having like a million options. Good old Torrent. And of course Melina. One of her kind is sure to seek. Who I found out because I did do a little bit of research on the endings. Um, isn't actually savable, which is really a shame. the golden order anyways question is should we go through the tutorial mm, I don't think we need to of course to fight the most epic boss soldier of Godric
we're gonna do it we're gonna go through the tutorial very quickly though we're gonna put it to I don't know what speed editor mr. sketchhead whatever you feel like um, it's up to you it's gonna be weird using crimson flasks not crimson flasks cerulean flasks a bit more all right let's do this God, magic is so busted in this game. I, again, do appreciate it. Uh, all right, here we go. Hardest boss in the game, Soldier of Godric. This guy is a total badass, absolutely deadly. If you're not playing the correct build, don't have 60 points in vigor. Whew. All right, first tough enemy of the game, down. I think this is gonna be a good playthrough. So anyways, yeah, that was that was something. You get a gesture out of it, which is absolutely useless. Plus a couple of runes, 600 runes. I mean, it's nothing. Oh yeah, didn't mention this, but I picked stone, stone sword keys as my starting gift. Uh, really, I probably feel like golden seeds are the most useful, or the golden seed is the most useful, but I think I'm just going to be able to get those. Uh, through the game world. I don't think uh, an extra golden seed matters too much. But, um, yeah. That's probably objectively the best starting item. And again, like I said, if you don't like pew pewing, uh, this is probably not going to be the playthrough for you because, like I said, people always say very rightfully, I fully admit my faults in the like very early ultimate guides I've done is that I tended to still use my weapon 90% of the time. It's not how we're gonna do it here. I'm gonna try to stick to actual spells as much as I can. Obviously you have to use melee sometimes, but yeah. Oh, yes. Mr. Vare. It's actually not a bad looking character I ended up with. Not that we're going to be seeing much of our character ever. Maidenless. Get on Tinder. This guy's so slimy. Just the way he rubs his hands together. He's like that guy in Ace Attorney, Case 1. Frank Showit or whatever. Okay. Shut up. Yeah, I'm gonna be skipping some of the dialogue. Um, especially since, like, I've messed around with a... Oh, no, don't do that. I've messed around with a couple of characters. Um, just to get a feel for what build I want. Because I wasn't sure if I want to play the Sorcerer Guide first. Or the Miracle Guide or whatever. Incantation Guide. Or equivalent a character first. So I tried a couple of new characters out. So I've heard that Vare dialogue like a million times. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna fuck around with the Tree Sentinel just yet. Uh, obviously, this build is going to be very weak initially, HP wise. And that dude is gonna pew pew all our spells back to us if we're not careful. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna bolt. How I'm going to tackle the open world is because this is my second playthrough. 
I am going to be just showing the path that is significant. I will be doing side stuff off screen, but really you're going to be seeing most of the main path. Um, just because, you know, I want to make this as streamlined as possible. So, yeah, I'm not going to be... It's mainly the dungeons, the, the side dungeons that I'm going to be cutting out. Basically, all other things you will see. So it's going to be kind of after I switched on to the format of Elden Ring Explorations. That's Skybox, though. This dude, they're all serving the three fingers, aren't they? That's the idea, isn't it? Uh, let's buy the crafting kit. And I think that's about it. Don't need anything. Torch. No, I'll just get the lamp. Don't need anything else until then. Cool, cool, cool. I so want I so want to try. The tree sentinel. Listen, I'm not gonna be able to resist. You guys know. Oh. Is that how we're playing? What did I tell you? I swear this guy put, was put here to say, Oh yeah? Playing a sorcerer? You think you're OP? I'll oh, think again, bitch. I think you still can do this if you bait out the attacks. Yeah. If I hadn't wasted like four fucking... Uh, Glainstone Pebbles early on, I... Yeah, okay, that's an interesting hitbox. He's definitely doable. Uh, well, actually, just looking at how much damage I dealt, probably not. We'll come back in just a bit. I swear this guy, again, was put there to fuck with mage characters. Because you know how mages be. People who pick sorcerers on their first playthrough, they're always like, I got this. They're like, oh yeah? You don't got this. And I was firmly put into that category. Cool. I guess this is like a good time, or this is going to be a good playthrough to sort of discuss the magic system a little bit in Elden Ring. Because I dabbled in it. Wait, what thing we have? Astrologer staff. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 this one. Obviously, I dabbled in magic a little bit on my first playthrough, but I ended up abandoning it because it just became useless. I wasn't actually putting uh, points into my intelligence towards the end, and there were easier ways to sort of like buff my weapon. I was mainly using the weapon buff, and then there actually ended up being way more convenient ways to do that. But I think, again, I do like the magic system in this game. Obviously, this is a From classic. Magic is OP as fuck. It's never not been OP as fuck. Um, it's just how it is. If you don't like magic or you don't want to be OP, don't play magic. And I guess you can purposefully handicap yourself with certain spells, but why the hell would you want to do that? Why am I not running? Don't ask me. I just... I don't know, I want to take in the open world. As I say, or as I've said in the review, this is... I love, absolutely adore this part of Elden Ring. The, ver the very beginning, Limgrave especially. I love this area. I absolutely love it. It's such an atmospheric zone. So many cool places to explore. It's sick.
Hello, maiden. Demon Souls, man. I am Melina. That is a sick cape, too. I offer you an accord. She looks so much like lightning. It's unbelievable. A cross between... Lightning and Yuna. I think it's the hair. The purple or like the pinkish hair is immediately like lightning comes into your mind. Install Tinder, come on. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to die. I like how we're not making eye contact. Just slightly. We have slight Asperger's. I'm gonna feed him so many rova fruits. You know how it is. I can't even get one single level. All right, Melina. Um, we don't need the kukri. That's for sure. Put all the kukri in the storage. That's about it. All right, we got them torrent. All right, cool. Let's get the map as well. I'm gonna raid this camp afterwards. You guys are so blind. You deserve to be backstabbed, I swear. Oh, hey, I already got the helm. Nice. -oo. Not that we need it. I don't know what armor and all this I'm gonna go for. I feel like we can let it sort of flow naturally. Yeah, be stealthy, be stealthy. I hate how like <laughs> I'm like three points of damage away from being able to one shot them with a backstab. That sucks. All right. Let's see how OP we are. Gee, what is this? Yeah, it does have two damage. Nice. Buff. The staff used to do a little bit more than that, right? Not much more, but it used to do okay. What the actual hell is that? It's just a random... Nice. There are bats in this game. That is super lucky, actually. Getting a smithing stone. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm clearing this castle. I just feel like it. I'm gonna try avoiding that. And there's, of course, the big guy. Oh, you have... Okay. God, I feel like I'm fucking... <laughs> those mages in Rhea Lucaria. It's gonna be quite the sorcery battle there. Yeah, we gotta be careful with our HP because it's like nothing. If you consider, I had 60 vigor by the end on my first character. Oh shit. I'm out of magic. Yeah, this guy is not stupid.
Can you guard counter? Yeah. Just takes a lot of stamina. Oh god, the HP. Ha, can't dodge that bitch. I gotta like really readjust there. Oh, come on, bitch. Ha! Such a shame you can't do counters with spells. That would be so cool. Oh fuck! Super lucky. Super super lucky. Uh, there are still enemies here, I think. But yeah. I don't remember what's in here. Oh, it's the wet knife. Whetstone knife. That's the one. Cool, cool, cool. And I think... No. Why does it want to take me... <laughs> I realized. I realized. Talk about muscle memory. Yeah, because I, I have torrent here. And it's so, like, automatic, you know, to push triangle and up for torrent. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna visit Sorceress Selen. That's, like, I feel like a good cap-off point to this episode. Actually, you know what, one of the things I want to try out is to do more stuff at night in this game. Cause... Who the hell is that? Um... Who the hell was that? And where the hell was he? Shit. I'm not gonna be able to find him because I'm blind as hell, aren't I? Uh-oh. Um. I wanna go, bats? We can go. Who the... Was this? I can't see you, bitch. Where the hell are you? Plus, I'm fighting a bat. This is him, isn't it? This is the dude. This is the monkey NPC, isn't it? Ah, motherfuck. Google, please come to my rescue. Okay, so this motherfucker is somewhere over here. He's here. I think this is him. Yep. So this is a pretty important NPC, I think, that I missed completely, because there was no dialogue here the first time I went through. Weirdly. It's a monkey. Yeah, this is Bach. Quite a journey, isn't it? Oh, what a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Yeah, there's an actual monkey MP. Well, he's a demi human. The gross mushrooms.
Kobak. Yeah, so he's gonna go to the cave. You know which one it is, the demi-human cave, which we're also gonna go to. Don't worry, probably off screen because there ain't much useful like stuff there. But yeah, this is one of the I've sort of like thought of sort of goals for this playthrough. And one of my personal goals is definitely go and do more of the quest lines. Uh, and I think Box is gonna be one that will do. Did you see that dodge? Next level footsies. Shit, is that a... Okay. <laughs> Alright, game. Alright, game. You ain't here now, are you? No. No, kill the bug! Oh, shit. God, the HP situation is absolutely... Seriously, you're that good at strafing me? There we go. Fucking hell. I know this is appearing a little chaotic, and that's only because it is. It's kind of not what I was intending. You know what? Screw you guys. Screw you guys, I'm going to Sorceress Selene. Yeah, the HP situation is... Um, well, to say that it's not good would be... Yeah, understatement of the century. Completely forgot, you need to fight a pumpkin head, right? Yeah, you do. Hmm. Well, we're gonna somehow manage. I actually don't know if there's a stake of America here. Oh shit. I completely forgot that I don't have anti poison things. Yeah, it's like a bit of an adjustment because I'm used to remembering being strong. You know how it is. Like, I did a whole ass playthrough. I just finished a whole ass playthrough and I was very powerful by the end, sort of. And I'm a little bit in that mindset of I'm sort of unkillable. Because uh, I was like beating a Radagon and all that shit. And that is unfortunately not the case. I'm weak as hell right now. Mm, and fighting this pumpkin head ain't gonna be a chief, that's for sure. I really want to end that sorceress lean. So what the fuck? I'm dead. I'm dead, aren't I? I think. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Thank fuck. There's a very convenient side of grace here and my runes are in a very convenient place as well all right let's do this this is gonna be spell spam all the way it's the only way i can think of doing this God, don't hit his dumb head This is bad though because maybe the arc. Yeah, see, you gotta. It's a very strange, strange playstyle to play magic unlocked, but I think that's what you gotta do against this guy.
Oh, the delay. How am I not dead? Goddamn delay. I now know what to do though. Should be easy. Yeah, the, really the key is not to lose my runes here. Uh, and I'll be able to like add a nice supplement. Once I kill this guy. Oh, come on. It's not ex exactly the easiest to hit with that. Believe me. That's like the safe attack to bait out. And this one. Because he always follows up with that head slam. See, he always does it. Cool. Okay, don't fuck up now, Mr. Sketchhead. I hate that attack. So much delay on it. It's like fighting Radagon. And believe me when I say I've had enough of fighting Radagon. <laughs> We're gonna have to do it, but yeah, finally. Yeah, it's just the HP. The HP you have with this character, obviously, very little room for error. It's just initially, obviously, we're playing a sorcerer. So we have that int, but we don't have that wit, that's for sure. Or vigor, whatever. Mm, that would be tempting. Uh, we'll see, just a little bit. Endurance, I think we need to pump up a little bit as well. Uh, excuse me. Um, yeah, let's do that. Alright, this is who I wanted. Sorcerer Selen, Selene, Selen. Her mask. Selen. Yes, we're passable. Passable. But one must choose one's masters wisely. I was exiled from the Academy of Rea Lucaria. As a revile, apostate witch. Do you still wish to learn from me? Give me them spells. <laughs> well, you are a piece of work. Very well. You are now my protege in Glimstone sorcery. But I refuse to coddle or cast kind words. Never. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So you have stars, which sucks. Uh, arc, we already have. Crystal Barrage, haven't tried these. Yeah, these are the spells I've not tr tried. The shield one is going to be probably very useful. Yeah, but them, co them costs are quite high. Young you are a when it comes to magic. <laughs> I, I do like this NPC. Alright, I'm happy for int build episode 1 getting to Selen in a reasonable amount of time is, I think, a good achievement. Um, other than that, what we're going to do is I will do some of these caves and all this, uh, some of these optional things. I do want to do this with Blade, so we're probably going to go down to this area of Limgrave as well. There's a quest there apparently that I missed too, uh, which I want to do, an easy quest. And then we'll go to the shore and continue box stuff while 
grinding up uh, for them sorceries. Yeah, I think that's gonna wrap up episode one of this playthrough of me playing a sorcerer build in Elden Ring. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications as always, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.